Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. The societal norms of dating and meeting your potential soulmate have changed considerably in today's digitalized age. The dating app Tinder has caused quite a revolution to the dating scene with its iconic swipe. As more and more people spend time on smartphones, apps that cater to all aspects of life have been developed. Tinder is available in 190 countries in over 40 languages and commands a total of 50 million active Tinder profiles. As the number of people with smartphones increases, so does the demand for dating apps. There are numerous dating apps that have flooded the market since Tinder launched, so it is very important that you have a unique selling proposition for your app. Today we're going to discuss how to create an app like Tinder from finding your unique selling proposition to the key features the tech stack used by Tinder, and even the algorithms used by dating apps like Tinder. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. So let's jump into it. It starts with the groundwork. Do thorough research of apps that are already available on the market, like Bumble, OkCupid, Match, etc., etc. There's a whole bunch of them out there and try and find ways to make your app stand out. For example, Bumble is unique because it has to be the woman who's the one to send the first message. And an app like Match is unique because you have to pay to use it, so candidates are theoretically more serious. Understanding the competition will give you an advantage in finding your own niche to develop a product that people want. So let's look at the features and the technical aspects of an app like Tinder. If you've watched any of our other how to make an app videos, then you already know the importance of creating a minimum viable product to test the market and collect data from your users early on. But if this is your first video of ours watching, then feel free to go back to any of our how to make an app like videos and you can find out more about how important an MVP is. First things first, you're gonna need a user profile. One of the essential features for a dating app, a user should create a profile by generating a login. Personal profiles allow for other users to engage. The profiles are collected as part of the data for the algorithm to match users with each other. Geolocation. Tinder extensively uses location to match people, make suggestions, and do interest-based matches. This is the reason a person from Paris doesn't get matched with somebody from Sydney, Australia. In-app interaction. Once two people get matched, the next step is for them to get to know each other. A chat in a safe and open environment gives them the opportunity to do just that. Sharing images and talking on voice or video chat is also an option. Easy communication in real time can really make all of the difference. Search. A robust search filter will allow users to share their gender preference and other specifics that they're looking for so that they can get more accurate searches. And of course, inclusivity. This feature will open your app to a wider audience. People of any race, age, body, size, gender, socioeconomic status, sexual orientation should be able to log in and enjoy every feature with equality. Other functionalities like security, push notifications, social media integration, profile setting should also be added to the app. Now let's look at the tech stack for Tinder. When it comes to programming language, look at Java, Kotlin, and Swift. JavaScript, Python, HTML5. For the frameworks, there's Node.js, Express.js, Next.js, and React Router. For the database, there's PostgreSQL, MongoDB, Redis. Cloud storage, you can use Amazon S3. For the web servers, you can use Nginx. For the payment gateway, you can look at Stripe and PayPal. For other general utilities, you can look at Twilio, Google Maps and Analytics, Elasticsearch, and Mapbox. For data and transaction safety, you can use GoDaddy and SSL certificates. So what algorithms do dating apps use? Tinder-like apps use preference or matching algorithms to match two people. It learns from the user data. All the information that the users enter into their profile, like their sexual orientation, preference, ideologies, likes and interests, everything gets stored and used as data to make a match with other users. AI finds people that would be suitable to match based on this data. In this case, AI is designed to collect all the data and learn from their actions and preferences. So allowing AI to bring together two people with the closest preferences. So there we have it. 
We've covered finding your unique selling proposition, the key features to consider when creating a dating app like Tinder, the tech stack, and the algorithms used. Do you use any dating apps like Tinder or Bumble? If so, let us know your experience in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.